Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I've been on a kick today to do some blend tools, uh, options, and uh, some effects. And somebody asked me a question about what is, you know, I'll just have to show you when I get to that. I'm going to open up effects, and this time I'm going to use the blend docker, and I'm going to blend these 20 times and hit apply. Then I'm going to go, and this is what he's asking about right here, what the split is. New path. I'm going to put on a path. Blend along full path. Here's what you can do with the split. That's pretty cool. As a matter of fact, let's blend them a little more. Let's blend them. Uh, 35 times. And then put them on this path. This will give us a good look. Then go blend the full path. Don't have to rotate them because they're round. And I actually have an outline on it, and I don't really like outlines, so I'm going to take the outline away. But you see you're, when you grab the blend, you're grabbing the whole thing. Well, if you go right here to split, it gives you this little cursive, and then you can take that and change the size. I'm going to lock a ratio and make that a 3-inch. Look at that. So you can still do all the other stuff you did with the colors, but you can blend it like that. And this is probably the neatest thing, I think, in that realm. You grab both these, and we're going to blend them just 20 times. Go to Apply, blend along full path. Now, in this case, because it's a rectangle, you need to blend along full path and rotate all objects, if that's what you want. Now, here's the deal with split. Take that and select that one. Now with your ratio unlocked, you don't want to make it any thinner, you just want to make it smaller. So look at that, the blend is going from a large, and yeah, I could have done this with two sizes. I could have started out with two sizes of blend, but this is pretty, you know, you can keep going and make it one, and you're blending a half, half inch to a two inch type item. And then as always, you can, Grab it, go to object. Well, let's see. A lot of times you have to grab the whole thing. Select the whole thing, go to object, break, blend apart. And then you can take away that circle. There's a lot you can do with this right here. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.